What color should this egg be? Do we want orange? Yellow? Pink? Pink. Is that cool, baby? Hey, lovey. Did you have fun coloring eggs? You look very pretty in your Easter dress. Are you wrecking things? What is this? Where, what is, oh, here we go. There we go. Happy Easter, everybody. Coloring eggs was fun for about 60 seconds until I realized that Stella's way too young to enjoy coloring eggs, and it was more just an activity for me, and let's be honest, I probably won't eat all those hard-boiled eggs before they go bad, but it was fun while it lasted. Um, we don't have anything else going on today, like nothing at all. Um, so here is Stella. I'm also going to include some pictures of her very first Easter because she looked very cute and she was so tiny. I think she was a month old at that time and all I remember is I picked her out some really cute little Easter bunny pajamas with like little pink bunnies on them from Old Navy and she had a poop explosion in them and she only wore them for like an hour so that's that was Stella's first Easter. Are you climbing Pillow Mountain? Careful! There was almost a wall collision. Oh. That's not how that works. Okay. You look beautiful. Actually, mommy made one of your pigtails very crooked. I'll kiss you. Mwah! But can I fix your pigtails? Please? It's actually been a minute since I've picked up the camera. Actually, I don't think I have vlogged at all today, but Stella has been filmed, haven't you? We had to change her clothes because it's very cold out today, and we had to go to the office to print out our P.O. box form because we got a P.O. box like two weeks ago and all I need to do is drop off this form and pick up my keys at the post office and I haven't done it yet. So there's that and while we were at the office we actually got a whole bunch of packages and by a whole bunch I mean two which is not as exciting as a whole bunch but I'm going to open them for you guys anyway even though this one I am positive just has Nick's swimsuit in it. And how cute slash weird is this bag? Like who is going to use this as a purse <laughs> after they open up their package? Oops, almost showed off my actual address. But I just thought that was cool slash weird. Okay, first we're gonna open up this. Like I said, this has Nick's swimsuit in it, but I actually remembered I also ordered something. Let's see, yes, I got a fanny pack which I will take out of the bag and show you I know this is so like 90s mom of me but like it has a rose gold zipper on it so is that kind of like ah! current fashion I don't know I thought it would be convenient for our trip coming up and then if Nick is watching your swimsuits came how cool slash unfair is it that men can buy swimsuits that come in a pack of two and women can't, that I'm aware of. Okay, now I'm gonna unbox this, but first I need a knife. You know what this is? I like it. 
like it. I didn't know what to expect because all three pieces were only $94. And some suitcases, only like really small suitcases are like 90 bucks. So this was a good bargain, I think. Also, I know we're doing like a lot of unboxing and haul stuff right now, but how cute is this birthday card from Stella's grandma and grandpa? This um, has a bow on it that is actually removable. So it says, carefully unclip the bow to wear it to be extra pretty on your birthday day. Um, I kind of read that way too fast and got everything wrong, but I just thought that was cool. I mean, it's a birthday card that you can actually kind of use. This is how she watches anything. Also, your shirt is unbuttoned, ma'am. So today is another day of pretty much nothing, just hanging around the house. There are a bunch of errands that I should be doing. Like I said earlier, I really should go to the post office and pick out the P.O. box that I reserved and paid for. Um, however, it's just kind of like a almost stormy day. Like it's in the forecast, but it hasn't happened yet. And I don't like to get Stella all dressed up in her, her, her warm clothes and like packed into the car and everything when it's gonna rain. And then I have to carry her and my purse and like the diaper bag and all this stuff into the post office and I just don't want to do it today. So I'm going to do that tomorrow probably, but I did want to share with you guys some unfortunate news. I know I said that Nick would probably only be gone for like a week or two, but it turns out he's going to be gone for like a whole month. <laughs> He'll be back uh, I think the last week of April and we originally thought he'd be back the first week of April because he's already been gone for a week. So. That's what's happening. I guess it's gonna be a girl's month instead of a girl's week. Can you say mama? Mama. Can you say dada? Dada. Good job. Can you say hi? Hey. <laughs> Good baby. Can you say yeah? Hey. Can you say kiss? Good job. You are so good. What else can you say, huh? Kiss. Kiss. That's your favorite, isn't it? I spent all morning looking for my keys and then I found them in the doorknob. I left them outside in the lock. So that's how my day is going. Stella and I finally got off the couch and decided to run errands today, although it's not the errand that I wanted to run. I wanted to go to the post office as I talked about yesterday, but I read on the form that I'm supposed to turn in, then I have to prove my address twice with like two pieces of mail or like a lease or a bank statement. And I don't have any of those things right now. So I'm gonna have to wait until the mail comes and hope that there's a bill in it with my name on it. That's my cutie. Oh, you got a dirty face. I'm not going to do a full grocery haul because I recently just did one probably like less than a week ago but I did want to show you some of the fun stuff so the Easter stuff at my grocery store was on super clearance so I got this whole glass tart dish which says hello spring and is very cute for I think two dollars and then I got these little bunny egg dishes for one dollar each so that was awesome something like this at Target would be like I don't know 15 20 bucks also, as you guys saw, I am absolutely obsessed with the Myers cleaning supplies and we were out of laundry detergent and I found this basil scent and then I also got the basil scented, what is this, um, fabric softener? Yeah, we were out of fabric softener and then we have dryer sheets but I really wanted the matching ones so we got basil dryer sheets and then I also got the basil, what is this, like counter cleaner? 
I currently have the rosemary one. I showed it to you guys in another video. That's my favorite, but they don't make a whole lot of other products in that smell. And I kind of like when all of my cleaning products match. But I did get this tub and tile cleaner in the lemon smell. Someone actually recommended the lemon scent in one of the comments underneath one of my videos. So I am trying out your recommendation. Also, I got some shampoo and conditioner. It's been crazy humid here and my hair is frizzing up really badly. Focus, please. I got the Repairing Ritual shampoo and conditioner and it's got coconuts on it. I haven't smelled it yet, but I hope it smells like coconuts. Also, I got this. It's like a travel size of the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Salt Spray. I don't blow dry my hair and I'm hoping that if I kind of like run this through my hair uh, the natural wave will kind of just like take over but I don't know it'll probably just be a frizz fest. Then I also bought this coffee but I had no clue that I had bought the whole bean and I don't have a coffee grinder so I'm gonna try and use the what is it called a food processor um, also cinnamon in my coffee is one of my favorite flavors and then Nick loves hazelnut so this is like the perfect Nick and Julie coffee hopefully I can grind it and then I'm gonna actually use that to make my own cold brew I actually invested in one of these it's a fluted basket coffee filter so you don't have to buy the paper ones over and over and this is perfect because I stick this in the top of my mason jar, I fill it with the coffee grounds, and then I pour boiling water over it as like a pour over coffee. So there's that, and I think that's all of the interesting things that I bought. I thought I heard somebody wake up. How was that nap? You're all pink. Were you sleeping on your face? <laughs> Are you ready for breakfast? Uh, this is going to be Stella's first time having raspberries. We'll see if she likes them. So far, she hasn't been a big fruit eater. She liked strawberries for about a week. Okay. Right? You don't really like fruit? But I think it's because most of the fruit that she's tried has been in the winter, so it hasn't been ripe or like in season. So hopefully these are sweet enough for your liking, okay? Here, try this dark one first. Do you not like it? I hope we can find one fruit that you like for the summer. Ooh, you know, mommy made a mistake and put you in a white shirt to eat raspberries. Are you chewing it? Is it good? You're liking them now, aren't you? Are those yummy? Guess who finished their raspberries? <laughs> oh, you need a kiss now? How about some yogurt? If you guys don't mind, actually, you guys don't really have a choice at this point. I'm going to end the vlog here. It's already like 13, 14 minutes long from what I've seen from editing throughout the day. So thank you guys so much for watching. The rest of today is just a stormy day, so we're just gonna do laundry, but we're gonna start vlogging again tomorrow and we will start a new video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.